Okay, dear friends, we are making olive oil. This water is cool, boiling. So we cool it down, stop the fire, and cool it down here. This is cooling it down, and at the same time, we prepare salt and um, and the vinegar. <coughs> so we put in the salt. This one, <coughs> it's usually the quantity is. But first, is how much? How much? Okay. <coughs> Okay, before I remember any formula, I remember my mathematical science, uh, chemical class. In chemical class, the salt uh, resolution rate, rate is 93%. So 100 gram or one liter of, um, of um, <coughs> water get 30 S s one liter of one three uh, um, it's one s one third of weight of salt with uh, water then it becomes a totally resolute right 3.5 so this is the one I will put roughly around this three big spoon of it and this is gray sea salt it does not look that good but it is uh, with much better flavor this uh, impurity is actually the good thing about uh, different mineral that uh, brings the color and, uh, and now we will put the vinegar here we have industrial vinegar it's not really industrial it's just industrial packaged vinegar and uh, it's for curing. Of course, you can put much better flavored vinegar, uh, more expensive. I think uh, <coughs> uh, I will put some with, uh, with better flavor later on. So I, at least I make a vinegar base. Yeah. That's good enough. It's very sour, very and for some individual bottle I will put different flavor this is the brine of it and uh, I will wash some fresh herbs from our backyard this is just from the backyard so we have omaha rosemary and this one is uh, Oregano and uh, again, <coughs> to get a better flavor of it, I press it a little bit. Anything just to get better flavor in. Do not chop into small pieces because when you chop into small pieces, it becomes. It becomes not easy to to do. And then it will be into each individual pot and this water is becoming a little bit cooler. Not totally a little bit and uh, <clears throat> some are too long I need to cut it short and uh, I will, this time I will not put my finger into it because it's so salt and uh, salt and vinegar too much salt and vinegar it make your skin not comfortable how much is the temperature 
it's fun I have I love this gadget <laughs> it's not too hot okay so here is our olive and this one we can prepare some garlic or ginger or different flavoring or maybe even sugar if you like So this is the olive after so long time and I will rinse it and use cool water, do not use hot water. Oh, I do not like this big bowl, it's too heavy, oh, I cannot hold it even, it's better use a This one is much easier to control. And did you notice that it grows the size because of water content? It really grows much larger than before. And this is more than yes. And now this one is wow, it's only. It's like less than 130 degrees, so it's good. Take it out. Okay. I can start to put some herb in to be. This is a station. Oh, it's very soft. Okay, that is good. And some I would like to have a different flavor. For example, there are people in the family like garlic. If someone likes garlic, you put some garlic. I have two with garlic. This is much more this one. Okay. And uh, <coughs> a ginger lemon. I would like some. This one is a sweet lemon. Let's make sure I remember it. Fun mm. Ah oh, yes. The better way to remember is to put a slice of it. Okay. And this one also lemon. We can do a little bit more. We should have more of that. Why do we need so much water? Lemon. So we have five on top of something. And this one I want to put some sugar. To defy gravity. Now we will put the olive. Put a 
piece of lemon so that I will remember this one is sweet and sour. Now we will put in olive. <coughs> We made too much of the brine, but uh, we can use for other things. It's the first time you always get something not so correct. Nothing wrong with it. It's okay. Way much too. Yeah, you can. Oh yeah. At the end you put some olive oil. Where is the camera? Do it. olive on top. It's too heavy and so good. The herbs. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. And, uh, all the herbs is in that one. Okay. Oh. Why do you say one gallon? Why do you say one gallon? Too strong. Okay. Now at the end you put olive oil to cover this layer. Olive oil is light so it always stays on top of it. This will be a failure one because it has no herb, no flavoring. Maybe we can put some more um, herbs. No worry, no rush. This one is a sage. Put the sage in. Gosh, we are all good now. We have <coughs> rosemary, sage, and uh, olive oil, salt. Maybe we can put some grain of Mustard green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I can put some mustard seed. Just make it fun. We have a yellow and dark brown, black mustard seed. Yeah, we are fun with the Laurier. We have a lot of 
and the black mustard seed. That's fun to have these, right? Stir it a little bit to put it down. Oh yeah, and then I close it and I can shake it a little bit. Okay, that is all covered. Enclose it very well. This one usually you should ask a man to do the closing because we never get it strong enough. And turn it over. Burn again. Okay. I all have everything. And this one. Okay, no water comes out, and from time to time, you do not expect it becomes even right now. From time to time, you turn it every day, turn it one time as a weight lifting exercise. Oh. I do not write down any flavoring because when I open, I will know it. And it's kind of a happy surprise to find, oh, this is garlic, oh, this is a sweet and sour. So that's it. It takes one, one month to get it ready. Put in cool temperature or put in a refrigerator. I would like, actually, this is winter time. I would like to put into garage or some place, cool, no sunshine, not get over hot. Because of there is um, vinegar and salt, it can help it to to preserve. This is the most uh, original, ancient method of preserving. So you do not need to put any chemical. And in one month, we will rep uh, report you whether it's uh, successful or it's a fail. But uh, it's a fun and interesting learning experience. Bye bye friends. That one we will use to make our own olive from our tree. Do not worry, it's not a waste. We have our own olive. <coughs> this is the beautiful olive we got from the from our tree. And here we have a little crumb. This one. If you can remember, it's already it's already, uh, we already get rid of uh, water one time. So, so all these are, are, are water from the olive coming out. So this one will be done also, but uh, we will wait for one month for this one. Thank you, friends. <laughs>